everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we are playing with new makeup. I also have some updates, but for the most part, it's new makeup. Um, and it wasn't going to be, but, 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 uh, the Runway Eye Palette from Burberry was finally available in the US and I immediately picked it up. My understanding is it sold out that day. Um, so we're gonna play with that today. Then the Essentials Glow Palette in um, fair to light medium. And I'll show you all the shades inside for, in just a second. Uh, I also picked up Gucci lipsticks. These are the new ones, the Glow and Care Lip Color. Um, they come in this really cool packaging. I think this is 60s. I'm not great on the whole like eras things, guys. So if it's some other era, <laughs> I will not be offended that I got it wrong. It's okay. Um, I also have the Victoria Beckham. This is the Augustinus Botter um, Primer. Now, I have this already, but this is the smaller size that they just came out with. And I have it in the golden, I don't know, remember what the name was. There was like a name, what was it? I think it maybe just was golden. Yeah, it's golden. Um, the original one had more of like a, I don't know if you would call it, I don't know if you would call it clean, clear, but it just, it didn't have a shade. This actually supposedly has a golden tint. So we're gonna use that. I also have a Victoria Beckham liner in black, which I did not have before. I've had, I have it in cocoa and, what's the other shade I had it in? I can't remember right now, but I picked up the ash color, which was a new color. I also picked up a black one and I also bought a black one to put in the giveaway that I'm accumulating. Um, for the 5,000 person subscriber giveaway, which is, I'm slowly just adding things to it. So let me pull my hair back. Uh, let's go ahead and use the primer first. So yes, I was very, very excited about the, um, I was very, very excited about the um, Burberry palette because, you know, I had wanted to pick it up for quite some time and um, it wasn't available in the US. This is a pump, by the way. You just pull off the top and it's a pump. Um, that's what it looks like. It's pretty creamy. Like I said, I've used the um, other primer, the, the one that she came out with first for quite some time. This size, I'll put the size below. What size is this? It's the smallest size. It was their new size that they came out with. Um, and I, I had wanted to try like the golden, but I was like, well, I don't want a big one in case I really hate it. Um, so I was like, oh, when it came out with a smaller size, I was like, I'll try it because I was gonna pick up the ash liner anyway. I do like this primer. Um, it's a good moisturizing, like skincare kind of primer. I don't think I never noticed that it offered any, um, I don't I don't think it made my products last any longer. I don't think, I'm being careful of my brows because my brows have been done. Um, I don't think it um, really even offered um, a smoother base, although maybe a little bit. Really what I noticed though was a nice moisturizing feel. Um, it did give a little bit of a glow and this one does. This one absolutely does. Um, it is more warm toned, a little bit golder than the one that I have, the original one. And if you guys are interested in seeing a side by side, I can certainly do that. But I do think it looks nice. It did give my skin a little bit of warmth, not a lot, but a little, which is exactly what I would want. We're gonna use the um, Tom Ford uh, Shade and Illuminate foundation. I have this in 1.3 Nude Ivory, and I feel like this is a really good match for me. I picked this up at the um, uh, cosmetic company store and I was actually there um, last week um, and found that a lot of their Tom Ford had sold out, but they do have some, they did have some other things in, um, some new things, so you know, just for those of you who are wondering, there are still products available. I picked up the um, Lavender Extreme Perfume, which is like one of my favorite Tom Ford perfumes. If you are a lavender lover, you're gonna love that. If you don't like lavender, <laughs> you won't like it. 
Um, but for me, I love wearing the Lavender Extreme in the summer. I just, I really like it. It smells to me just like lavender. Uh, it's got a gorgeous scent to it. It's a little bit more complex than just lavender, obviously. Um, but it's just, it really, it smells nice on me. And for me, it's a very relaxing scent. Like, I feel like when I wear it, like calm. <laughs> so a lot of times when I have like a big meeting or something, I will actually wear that because it calms me down and I feel like, oh, everything's gonna be fine. Reminds me of my yoga studio, which I haven't been able to go to in a very long time. Um, okay, so let's talk about the Burberry products, which I think are gonna be the majority of today. I mean, obviously we'll talk about the Gucci lipsticks as well. So the Burberry palettes, this is the face palette. This has been around for a little bit. Um, and this is the fair to light medium. And I've heard people say great things about this palette. So I'm really, really excited to, to hear more about it. So that says that this is a sculpt and this is a sculpt, fair brown, light brown, and then blush and light pink, blush and pink, highlight and white, highlight and pink pearl. And we'll go ahead and take a look at these. They are creamy. Wow, okay. That's very creamy. That's gonna be very deep for me, but that's the cream. And then that's the powder. All right, and then the blush. Oh, that's pretty. These are both powders, both shimmery but beautiful. And then the highlights. Oh, I love the highlights. Oh, both gorgeous. Now I do have a Burberry highlighter. Um, it's that white, it's a very white um, highlighter, which actually is like a blinding hi highlighter. And I have to say, I really enjoy that highlighter. It's the only Burberry product I have up until now. Um, and I was, I've always been very impressed with that highlighter. So I'm gonna try to use this as a little bit of a, a bronzer, but like carefully, very carefully. And because it's a sculpt and it's like a cream, like it's, it's a different formula than the rest, I'm gonna go in like super, super careful here. Just like that. Because otherwise, I think it's you know too deep for me. And let's use a sponge and just see if we can use that to sculpt a little. I used the um, Wayne Goss a couple of days ago, and that video will already be up. And I have to say, I've used it a couple more times. Guys, I'm I'm very impressed by it. Like, okay, so I use that very carefully, like so lightly. But that does work if I'm just super careful with it. But that shade to me, see, and here's it, like that shade to me is does not belong in a fair to light palette. This is too deep for my skin tone. Um, I can use it like I just did but anything more than that, I think you're gonna have, I think you're gonna have an issue. Um, okay, so, although it does say fair to light medium, so I guess that, I mean, that's true. All right, so let's go on with the, the other shade. I'm gonna use my Tom Ford bronzer brush. Yeah, and that shade works great. <laughs> that shade's fine. Um, but yeah, the deeper shade, it's just, I mean, it's so, it's just way too deep. Now, I'm not saying that it's a wasted shade, because it's not. I mean, I can figure out how to use that shade and just keep it, you know, really, really, really light. And it did blend well. I will give it that, so. Okay. What do we think, guys? I actually think that looks really nice. Really, really pretty. Blended beautifully. All right, let's go in with my Chikahoto Cheek and Highlight Brush. And I think I wanna use, all the shades are pretty, but 
Let's use, well, you know what? We could use both. Let's use the um, Pink Pearl First highlighter, and then we'll use the white as well. So let's do that here. Well, that's very bright. <laughs> yeah, this is this reminds me of the, um, so I, like I said, I have a single Burberry highlighter, and it's, it, I love it, but it is, it is like a blinding white highlight. Um, and it works really well, and I love it, and I actually use it for eye looks a lot because um, it, when you need like a highlight in the eye, it's just amazing. Okay, that looks great. Let's take the white, same brush, and just, yeah, see how that, I bet you it's very similar, if not the same, as the one that I have in the single. You see how bright that is? I mean, it's like, it's blinding. I mean, I love it and I think it's gorgeous, but just be aware, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's super bright. Um, okay, so let's use, I think we'll use this shade, which is the blush in pink or in light pink. Let's use the light pink, although light pink looks deeper to me, but whatever, let's try it out. Put that right over the highlighter. Oh, it blends really well. Yeah, it blended really nicely. It's a very pretty shade. Put it up into the temple a little bit here. What do you think, guys? That looks beautiful. Well, I can see why everyone's been saying such good things about the palette. That looks really nice. Okay, all right, so that is the Glow Palette, the Essential Glow Palette in fair to light medium. Like I said, it's a beautiful palette. I have heard good things before. I would say that that creamy sculpt shade is a very deep shade. I went in so, so lightly and it's still like a little too deep, but the way that I, you know, um, used a sponge and smoothed it in, I think it's fine, but I would not say that that's a fair to light medium shade. I think that's a medium shade or maybe, maybe light medium to deep medium. <laughs> it seemed pretty deep to me, but I mean, who knows? I mean, I, I'm so pale. Everything seems deep to me. Um, okay, so this is the Runway Eye Palette. Um, and then this is a nine shade. And if you look here, we have a light camel shimmer, a dark brown shimmer, and a beige matte. Then in the middle, top to bottom, we have a tan shimmer, a vermilion red metallic, and a burgundy shimmer. And then all the way on this side, we have a dark burgundy shimmer, brown matte, and a gold metallic. All right, so let's swatch these. Let's do it. I don't wanna, well, I can do it like this. And I'll tell you guys, I was being asked about this today. I was not like super gung-ho about this palette until I saw somebody in Europe, because we didn't have it, use it. They had swatched it. And then I was like, oh, now I want it. When I first saw it, it looked kind of subdued in the in the pan. I was like, meh. And I'm not a huge Burberry person, obviously, because I don't have, you know, a lot of Burberry products. I have one. But when I saw the person use it, I was like, and swatch it, I was like, oh, those shades are nice and pigmented. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't think it looks super great, actually, in the pan. I think it looks so much better uh, when you actually see it. Uh, and I have to tell you, I'm super impressed. And I've only just, you know, like I've just started using it. So I'm definitely gonna have to play around with it. I mean, these are first impressions, but I can tell you that it's definitely pigmented. The shades are really pretty. And I, I you know, I would buy more um, Burberry just based on this. Like this gold here, is beautiful. I wish I'd been able to, I didn't have to do it on my wrist. But this shade is gorgeous. 
this middle shade, the, um, what was the name of that? That was Vermilion Red Metallic. It's got like an orange to it actually. Um, the burgundy shade is beautiful. That's a shimmer, which is this one here. These mattes are really good. They came out like, they're really nice. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. I mean, just first impressions, but. All right, so let's do a, as I, as I always like to say, let's do a simple eye look. Um, let's take, let's take this matte shade here, which is the beige matte. And I'm gonna say that this is gonna be similar to my eye, to my skin. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Yeah. And we're gonna use that as a traditional kind of uh, transition shade. We'll do a traditional look. There's no really such thing as a traditional anything, but uh, you know, we'll use a transition shade and I'll uh, deepen it up in the crease. And I won't use all nine shades, um, but I'll use enough so that you can see the different textures um, and then we'll play around with it some more in some other videos. I'm hoping it comes back, um, but I don't know if it will <laughs> because it sold out in Europe. I mean, I you know had been following it for a little while after I saw that person use it and I was going to reach out to Tavia um, and ask her to pick it up for me, um, but we kept being told that it was gonna come to the US. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just wait. And then I was finally like, you know what? I'm not gonna wait any longer. And I asked Tav Tavia about it and she's like, oh, it's gone. <laughs> like, it's sold out here. So I, um, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if there's, I mean, I know there's supply chain issues. I don't know if they didn't make enough product. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's just a supply chain thing or if um, you know there's problem with specific ingredients, I do not know. Let's take the deeper brown mat and just, they're calling it brown mat, the shade here, and just deepen that up just the tiniest bit on the outer corner, literally just focusing it there with just the mat. And then we'll go in with a shimmery shade. Yeah, the mattes are working well. They're blending well. This is a GSN um, Chikahoto 10 brush. Again, just I just have mattes on at the moment. Um, let's do... Let's do a shimmer and then we'll put a met metallic on the top. Um, let's do, let's do a tan, I think. It's the shade here. This is the tan shimmer all over the eye. We'll keep it somewhat simple. Oh yeah, shimmers are very pretty. Um, but they're not accentuating texture. They definitely have a beautiful shimmer to them. That tan shade is very pretty. Going a little bit into the crease here with it. Yeah, that looks great. All right, let's buff that out. This is my Wayne Goss number three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that looks really pretty. I'm, I'm impressed. Um, let's go in with the mini booster. Let's use the dark brown shimmer and use that to go over the uh, crease area. But like I'm being very specific, very narrow in the application of it. I'm not buffing that out. Okay. Yeah, these these shadows blend really well. They look really nice. 
Okay. All right. So far, so good. Uh, so let's take a metallic. Let's use the gold and just sort of, I'll use my finger. Yeah. <laughs> wow, guys. This looks really, this looks really pretty. I'm just going to lightly buff it. Like not like at all a lot. I want to keep it very light. But then I'm going to take that same gold and put it in the inner corner. You know what? Instead, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this white highlighter. This is what I was talking about before. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, it's like meant to highlight. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Just so pretty. Okay. All right. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So let me take the um, pencil one Chickahoto brush. Uh, we'll use the brown shimmer to do lower lash line. I'll be honest, I can't wait to try the Vermilion. I was gonna jump right to that one today, and I'm sure a lot of you expected me to because it has like an orange tint to it, but I wanted to try out a lot of the shades, and we did. We, we tried, so this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, so I went through one, two, five of the nine shades um, to try to get as much on my eye as possible. But I really like the, the compact, the mirror is a good size. Um, you know, you can actually see yourself in it, which is nice. Um, the pans are a good size. You can fit your brushes in them. It's, let's see, 20 grams or 0.7 ounces. It's really pretty. It has 18 months um, and the formula is awesome. I will say the minute you touch it, there's fingerprints all over it, but I mean, that's, that is what it is. Um, yeah, that looks, that looks really beautiful on the eye. I have to say it's, it's a really pretty, it's a really pretty palette. It's warm leaning. Um, if you don't like warm palettes, you're not gonna like it. But to me, it's stunning. Let me bring you in close before I use the eyeliner because I want you to see the shadows. Um, we'll do the eyeliner, we'll do mascara, and then um, we'll try on lips. Okay, so there is the final eye look. Just with the eyeshadow. Isn't that beautiful? I really, really like it. Okay, let me put on some liner. Um, so I said this is the Victoria Beckham liner and this liner goes on so smoothly. I mean, it's just like super, super easy. And the smudger on the other side smudges this out like so well. Look at that. So I love these liners. She has four shades now. Uh, and as I said, this is gonna be in the um, 5,000 subscriber giveaway when I get to that point. Okay, so let's put a little bit of liner on the top lash line. I'm not gonna do a lot, just a little. The pencil is so soft that you just have to touch your eye, like seriously. If you're somebody who like really hates a dry pencil and wants like a super soft pencil that stays on forever, this is the pencil for you. Okay, so liner's on. I'm gonna put on some mascara after I curl my lashes. I'm still using Bite Beauty. Love the Bite Beauty. See no reason to change it for now. Um, so let me do that um, and then we'll get to lips. Okay guys, a final look with the mascara on and I have to say, I absolutely love the eyeshadow. I think it's beautiful, but I also love the face palette. I think it looks glowy. I think it looks gorgeous. I think the shades are beautiful. Um, even though I think that one shade is, is too deep for me, I think it works in a very limited capacity um, to sculpt out the cheeks. I think the, the, the bronzer, they're calling it a sculpt, but I think it works really nicely on my skin. I love the blush. I love the highlighters. 
Um, and then this runway palette. I am so happy that I, got, I am so happy that I bought it. I, I mean, yes, it's very warm leaning. I think this was probably a fall palette, um, but I love it and I think it looks gorgeous on the eye. Um, I love the shades. I cannot wait to try this middle shade. Like that's I think gonna be my favorite shade, but absolutely I love, 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 love it. Um, the Victoria Beckham liner. I really can't recommend those liners enough. Um, as I said, I'm going to be putting one, the black one, in the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So now let's get to lips. So the shades that I picked up in the Gucci lips, I picked up three. I was going to pick up more, but I um, they ended up coming to Sephora, and Sephora is having their Sephora sale very, very soon. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait. Now, it's possible that they'll sell out on the Sephora sale. I got that, but still, you know. I was like, okay, be reasonable, John. Um, okay, don't buy everything. So this is called Call It A Day. That's Call It A Day. I'll put it like this so you can see it a little better. And that's shade 214. Call It A Day is like this gorgeous, rosy, um, it's like a rosewood. Isn't that pretty? Sparkly, shiny. I think it looks really beautiful. 204 is Peggy Taupe. So this is 214, call it a day. This is 204, Peggy Taupe, which I just think is so pretty. And then the last one is 307 Louise Orange. And I picked this up, although I thought it might be too orange for me, but I knew it would go fast. Um, I think it's available on Nordstrom right now. But I just think they're all pretty shades, but very different. This is very orange. This is more of that brownie pink. And this is more of that rosewood. I think for the look today, I think they actually would all work. Let's go with the middle shade. Let's go with the Peggy Taupe. I'm not gonna use a liner today. I want you to see it by itself. Oh, these are beautiful. The feel is very much like, like, like um, the Chantecaille lip cheeks, lip veils, very much like those, which I love. Very comfortable on the lip. I love the shade. Yeah. Let's see if it has a scent. It does, it does have a scent. So it's, it's a slight, slight scent. But that's really pretty. They're not super opaque, but they're opaque enough. Really nice. Glow and Care lip color. Okay. 18 months, 24 hour hydration, 24 hour moisture. Well, I really like these. I mean, I'm just trying it on, but it does, it reminds me of one of the lip veils, lip cheeks, that kind of feel. I love a thin little lipstick. I know that there's less product, I got it, um, but I like it. It works perfectly on my lip, it goes perfectly in the shape of my lip. I mean, I think that's beautiful. I love that shade. I think I'm gonna love all of these shades and I can't wait to play around with them. Yeah, it's, it's enough pigment, but not too much pigment. And it's like a glowy, it's a glowy lip veil, lip chic. I love it. Absolutely love it. Batten, I'm having a good, I'm having a good makeup like week, guys. I don't know what's going on. So, okay, so final look. Uh, I can tell you right now, I love the Burberry palettes. I love the face palette. I love the runway eye palette. I'm so glad I picked it up. Um, the lipsticks, the Gucci lipsticks, I'm definitely gonna get more during the Sephora sale if there's any available. The Victoria Beckham Primer in Golden. Um, you know, I think it really gave my skin a nice glow to it. I have to try it by itself without using this face palette and other products, but I do like it and I like the original one. So it's not like the formula's that different. It has a golden glow to it. 
I'm really enjoying the shade in Illuminate in uh, 1.3. Like, I think I finally found my shade. One of the issues I had with the shade in Illuminate that I kept feeling like the shade wasn't quite right. And, and I think I think this is the right shade. And I, I really, really love it. Um, so anyway, I really like that. The Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. Excellent mascara, guys. Just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's my review for today. I'm absolutely thrilled with everything. I can't wait to play around with them a little bit more. More, you know, I'll try the other shades in the lipstick, and I'm gonna try all the shades in the palettes from Burberry. If they are available anywhere, I will certainly let you guys know as soon as I do. So with that, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in another video really soon.